Have you ever wondered why almond milk keeps so long in the refrigerator? I did. And so I checked the side panel. Yes, you guessed it. Gums, preservatives, and anti-separation agents. That's all inside the milk. So today I'm going to show you step-by-step step how to make the best homemade almond milk without all those additives. Welcome to Comfort Food Farms, the plant-based home cooking channel. If this is the first time we're meeting, I'm Kari Greger. I'm glad you've joined us. Let's get started. Making almond milk is super easy with only three ingredients. Almonds, water, and a little bit of salt. You will need a high speed blender like a Vitamix, Nutribullet, Ninja, or something similar. My favorite is the Vitamix. The almonds needed for this recipe should be raw, unroasted, and unsalted. Soak the almonds in cold water overnight. The quick way to do it is to use hot water and let it soak for 15 minutes to an hour. While these are soaking, let's make the simpler recipe. Almond flour is the most convenient, the fastest way to make this type of nut milk because you don't have to soak the almonds. And any method that saves time is preferred. Make sure your almond flour is made from whole ground almonds. Measure the almond flour into the mixer. This is going to be half a cup of almond flour and we're going to add two cups of water. And then the salt. Salt is nature's preservative. I never used to add salt, but I found my almond flour would sour within five days of mixing it. This is what made me think twice about buying milk from the store. <laughs> what do they have to add to the milk to make it last two months? It doesn't take that much, just a healthy pinch of salt. I'll just grab another, a better pinch. There we go. Just a healthy pinch of salt in this amount of milk. About an eighth of a teaspoon. Before I forget, if you are getting good information from this video, like it, subscribe, and hit that bell below so that you will receive notification the next time a plant-based vegan recipe is posted. Since I make the almond milk myself, I only make two or three cups to keep in the fridge. If I'm making another recipe that calls for almond milk, I'll make just what I need. I gauge how much we consume so we always have fresh milk in the fridge. The Vitamix is a very powerful blender. And yet I let it go about six minutes to really demolish those nut particles. There, that's done. Now. You can test the graininess of the milk by rubbing it between your fingers. If you can feel the particles and it's more than you want to have, then you know that you need to run it some more time in the blender. This Vitamix will blend it in about six minutes. I don't usually strain the milk. The Vitaget mix gets it pretty smooth, and I don't mind a little grit, as that's where the fiber of the nuts are. It can separate in the fridge. I mean, solids fall to the bottom and liquid goes to the top. It's nothing that a quick shake before pouring it out can't fix. I usually don't drink it by the glass. I mostly use the nut milk on cereal or in some recipe, so. Just a quick shake like that. However, you may not have a high-speed blender. 
or you just can't stand those particles in your mouth when you drink it. So I'll show you how to strain it in the next batch. Now our almonds have soaked. You can see that the, the water has turned kind of a brownish color as it's been soaking the nuts. You will know that they've soaked enough when you can wiggle them around here and you can feel the skin moving. And so then you just give them a quick whoop, squeeze and it goes all over the place. Now we're ready to do the whole almond version. We've got our peeled almonds here. They're soaked. Peeled, half a cup of those. Two cups of water. You do not have to use salt if you don't want to, but it will preserve the milk a little bit longer. I'd say you'd get another week out of it. Without the salt, it's only gonna keep for about five days. Now, you can add maple syrup, Okay, you could even add a Metajoul date if you want to keep the whole food plant-based thing going. You could put vanilla in there or strawberry or cocoa, whatever combination you want to have in your milk. You have total control of the salt, fat, and sugar when you make something yourself. All right, we're off to the blender. Once again, we blend for about six minutes. You could blend up to 10 minutes. Stick your finger in the milk, and rub it. You can feel if there's a little bit too much pulp in there. If you want to run it again, you can. Straining the milk you need to have a nut milk bag, like this one. Turn it so that the seams are on the outside of the bag. That prevents the pulp from getting caught into it. So you only wanna do this if you really want very, very smooth milk. You don't want any pulp in it or as little as possible. Strain it through the milk bag. This bag does quite a bit of milk. I'll link the bag in the, in the description below. Squeeze, squeeze. Now that's a lot smoother. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can save the pulp if you want to do make a dip or if you want to put it into um, some other dish. It's basically almond flour. Or you can just recycle it. The best thing about making your own alternative dairy milk is that you control the fat, sugar, and salt. Making it from scratch gives you total control. If you found this video useful, give us a thumbs up below. Next week, I'm going to be making homemade non-dairy Greek yogurt. So while you're down there, subscribe and ring that bell so that you will receive a notification when that recipe is posted. Thanks for watching.